Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We'll be back tomorrow. Don't get up to anything naughty. Yeah. Look how cute they are. Whatever could go wrong. Yeah. A whole weekend alone. Awesome. <laughs> this is going to be the longest weekend of the year. Yeah, we can sit in front of the TV and eat everything we want. And above all, we can totally hang loose. <laughs> Straight from the forest floor. Really? Maybe it's time to clean our outfits. You sure, Wash? Remember last time it didn't go well at all. Yep, but this time I found the instructions. So everything's gonna be hunky-dory. It's easy, you'll see. Any fox cub could do it. I can't wait to see this. With you around, generally the word easy means catastrophe. There we go. Now, I just have to press this little boy. <laughs> awesome. I know how low you guys can sink, but this time, you've really excelled yourself, Wash. You don't believe it. What am I gonna do with this? Hmm, you could play dolls. I don't understand what happened. That machine is completely nuts. The Living Stones have to get a new one. All we can do now is um, order new costumes. <laughs> nice try, Susie. I don't like to be the one to tell you, but dogs don't bark like that. Believe me, it takes years of experience like I've had to pull it off right. wouldn't have missed this for the world. And it's so much more fun than being a bird disguised as a bird. Order placed. Our new costumes arrive tomorrow. Until then, we can just take it easy and enjoy a TV marathon! I'm done with dance routines. Let's see what else there is. We are very honored today to have Professor Jones in the studio, the well-known hunter and collector of rare species and unusual specimens. His museum contains wonders of the animal world, many unfamiliar to man. Wow! So, Professor, what do you make of this footage of a small flying dog that has gone viral on social media? <laughs> is it a hoax or is it a genuine scientific discovery? I'm not quite sure. But what we do know is that evidence of this legendary creature's existence can be found in many sources. Sometimes it plays a role of messenger to the heavens, but in later writings it appears as a retriever of sacred flying discs and as an archivist of bones. <laughs> Joking aside, if the creature does exist, you can be sure I shall track it down and you'll have all the answers you need. Everybody saw it! And now there's a unicorn hunter who's coming to get you! Yeah, 
You're sure to be a big hit in his unusual specimen gallery. Okay, let's not go overboard. He'll never be able to track us down. You reckon, Washington? Then what is that outside? <laughs> he would have recognized the house from the video. He's good. I don't want to be stuffed. Quick, you gotta get that costume off, Susie. Why? <laughs> hey, hands off! I don't want to take off my new costume. I want to stay being a dog. <laughs> Just when I thought you can sink any lower. You're on your own here, guys. Uh oh, sounds like it's coming from the garden. It's Professor Jones! He's coming to get us! Quick, head for cover! Uh -huh. Hmm, the owners must have gone away for the weekend. Good, I can set up my equipment. Hmm. Atrocious craftsmanship. That fox has a ridiculous face. And such coarse fur. Well, anyway, I have a job to do. Time to get moving, old fellow. <sighs> what do you mean I have coarse fur and a ridiculous face? What are we going to do? He's gonna come back. We can't stay in the house. You're right, Eugenie. We have to get outside. We'll go hide in the garden shack. <laughs> When he notices there's nobody in the house, he'll leave. In the meantime, we have to get that costume off again. <laughs> I'll show Wash that I'm a better dog than him. Hey, where have they gone? How could we ever forget Susie? And we forgot to have dinner. I'm starving. Totally, totally starving. Oh, I'll never be able to hold out. Well, we don't have much choice. We have to get back inside that house and find Susie before Professor Jones does. Infrared check. Movement sensors check. Gamma rays check. Garden and house traps check. Hmm, that flying dog will never escape my clutches. Nobody move! Jones thinks he's clever, but little does he know he's dealing with an expert in cutting-edge laser technology. <laughs> Smooth move, expert! Movement detected. Run! Take cover! <laughs> Sam! Come back! <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna skip a meal! Dog is mine! Hi, oh my! Sam has fallen asleep in his kibble bowl! Again! Mm -hmm. Let's go! We're the only ones who can save them now! Yay! Susie! Target defined. House cat. A Volga house cat? <laughs> time to pull out the heavy artillery. This time you won't get away. No dog can resist this. Not even a flying dog. Calm down, girls. We still have to get rid of Professor Jo- uh, You'll see if I'm a real dog or not, Wash! Uh, Susie, come back! There must be a trap! <laughs> no! Susie! <laughs> At last! Soon this flying dog will be stuffed and exhibited in my museum. <laughs> What are we gonna do to save Susie? And where Sam disappeared to? <sighs> I must have died and gone to heaven. What? What on earth? Are you sure this is really necessary? Incredible! I've hit the jackpot. What fantastic specimens! They must be mine! Use this diversion tactic to release Susie from the truck. I'll go look for Sam indoors! <coughs> 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 
Sam, it's me. Quick, we gotta reach Susie and Eugenie before Jones arrives. Phew. What on earth is going on? Oops. How about this one? <laughs> <laughs> it's only me, Sam. Okay, that's enough flying dogs for one day. Phew. Right, let's get out of here. What? <laughs> A fox, two balls, and a blackbird? I've never seen anything so mundane. <laughs> All that effort for nothing. Uh -huh. A flying snake has been detected in the southern region of... A dragon! Shoot! Ah! Look out! Here! How dare he call us mundane? Let's create a Here we go! Our new costumes have arrived! Ah! Oh. Uh, maybe I got the sizes wrong. I don't believe it! You see that? It fits like a glove. I've always dreamed of being a bird. I can fly! I never thought you guys could sink quite so low, but looks like I got it wrong again. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. How we doing, girls? Still eight minutes and 15 seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11. Yeah, yeah, okay, thanks, we get it. It's just taking so long. Huh? <laughs> 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 you, lots of action. <laughs> In suspense. Yeah, right, there's no mystery here. They're just doing spring cleaning. Except it's summer. Our dear owners have simply lost something. They destroy everything in the house whenever something goes missing. They are the wild ones. The last time it was our car keys. Another time it was a tennis racket. The worst of all was the soda bottle opener. They went out of their minds. My beautiful wedding ring. What did I tell you? It's so, so precious to me. And besides, it was my grandmother's. <laughs> I just don't understand. Whenever I'm not wearing it, I always put it there. Okay, let's attack the rest of the house. You want me to use the sledgehammer this time or the wallpaper remover? Ah, the sledgehammer! I was just thinking, what if one of our darling animals swallowed it by mistake? Well, listen, if we don't turn up anything in the house, then we'll go straight to the vet for the x-rays. Did you hear what they said? Yes, they're finally gone. We've got the TV on to ourselves! <laughs> okay, guys, let's all be totally honest about this. Did one of you swallow that ring? Victoria. Mm. Oh, please. If I had swallowed it, I would have spit it out immediately. And believe me, I can tell the difference between a hairball and a ring. Eugenie? Impossible. My metabolism would never allow me to digest gold that is not 100% 24 carat. I admit it. I tried to once, but it got stuck in my beak. Who says it wasn't you, Washington? After all, it's easy to accuse others. One who swallowed the ring! As I mentioned the remote control. No! 
<laughs> We've got to find a solution before the Livingstones return. Yeah, what you really have to do is find a way to get the remote control before my soap begins. Otherwise, it's me who's going to be sending you back to the forest. Mm -hmm. The cake is ready. Magnificent. Right, we're going to have to wait until it's cooled down. Listen, I've given it some thought. We'll look in the yard, but if we don't find it there, we're going to the vets. A simple x-ray and we'll know if it's in one of their stomachs. It's a catastrophe. What's an x-ray, Wash? It's a thing that allows you to see everywhere, see through everything, and guess what they're going to see in us? Hmm? <laughs> okay, little hint. It's made of metal and it goes up and down. In the elevator? Hmm. Uh, our zippers! Yes! Faster! Up, faster! Up, down, up, down! Come on! Spit! Are you gonna spit out that ring or what? Hmm. <gasps> Watch out! She's looking this way! <laughs> We're gonna have to find another way. <laughs> so, Sam, is it coming or what? Did you get the ring? Did you? Look, my favorite toy. It's amazing. I was sure it was lost forever. <gasps> Wait, did... expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. You got the ring. Uh, no. On the other hand, Susie knows exactly where the remote control is. <laughs> Yippee! I'm going to be able to watch my soap now. I still don't think you get it. If we don't find that ring right this second, we're all goners. Hey there, gang. What do you say to a little outing right about now? <laughs> I hate you all. That X-rays. Zippers, we may as well head straight for the forest right now, guys. No, I haven't said my last word yet. But I hope your stomach is up to this, Sam. Everything okay in there, Susie? Affirmative, Washington, but it's totally pitch black in here. Good luck, little one. Huh? Wow! Did you find the ring? No! It's not gonna be easy. You wouldn't believe the junkyard in Sam's stomach! You will what? Awesome! Huh? Oh, that's so beautiful! Where's that music coming from? Did you just turn the radio on, honey? Mm -mm. Susie! This is no time to play piano! The ring! We're here, Susie! Quick, hurry up! Well, it's make or break now, guys. Uh, you're here for x-rays? <laughs> uh, but that, uh, uh, that's not possible. <laughs> you have to make an appointment at least 48 hours in advance and put them on a very specific diet. What in the world are you talking about, Vladimir? Shh. You know very well that I hate the x-ray machine. It scares me. And besides, I am, uh, extremely busy. There is no way I can see so many patients right now. In fact, I'm full up. But there's nobody but us here. I must absolutely get my ring back. My precious uh, ring, do you understand? Uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, very well then, uh, no problem. <laughs> What I should do is go verify the instructions menu. Oh, uh, what I mean is, uh, Velma, will you please fill out the four admissions forms? Four? One, two, three, four, and... But... But Susie, she's missing. Oh. Can we leave them with you? We have to go back and get Susie, our canary. Come on, Vladimir. Uh. Let's go set up the x-ray machine. Oh. Ugh, and now we have to get x-rayed? You guys sure have given me the royal treatment. <laughs> uh -huh. So? Nothing! It would take a lifetime to sort out everything in Sam's stomach. Yeah. Hey, no one has ever complained about my internal disorder before. And it was already pretty nice of me to let you go rummaging around. Yeah, sorry, Sam, it's true. But you really do eat a lot. You're right. And it's pretty easy to swallow a ring. Anybody could, especially without even knowing it. 
Great! Right. So, uh, I guess I'll be getting back to the mines. Oh. Yeah. My little Susie, perfect. I'll just call your owners and let them know while the vet runs you through the x-ray machine. Huh? You are going to climb up there and stand behind the screen while I take your x-rays. And we will immediately be able to see everything you are hiding. <coughs> hmm. <laughs> Velma! <laughs> Which button is it again that uh, turns on the machine? The big red button! And the light regulator? Well, you have to place the cursor on zero to turn it on. And then you increase the brightness little by little while turning the little knob on the left in order to sharpen the contrast. Vic, quick, mm -hmm. distract the vet. That way, we'll be able to quickly take off our costumes and we'll put them back on when we step out of the machine. And what's in it for me? Our kibble for the whole week? The pillow next to the radiator? Massages? You get to watch your favorite series on TV every single day. It's a deal. Hmm, weird. Velma? Now! Come on now, Vladimir. I've already shown you a thousand times. There, it's ready. Hmm, no sign of a ring. On the other hand, I'm going to have to prescribe a serious cure for the fat cat so we can get rid of all that junk. Hmm, what do you mean, fat? Way to go, Vladimir. Excellent analysis. I'm very proud of you. Come on now. Quit pretending to be shy. Come out from behind there. So, oh. did you find my ring? She's back! No sign of a ring. Too bad. Here. I wanted to apologize for having lost my cool earlier, so I baked you a cake. My cake! Huh? Oh, how sweet of you. Uh, <laughs> wow! Your ring was there in the cake all along. Perfect. Now, do you mind turning up the volume, Susie? <laughs> Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. <sighs> Dr. Alessandro, why, I love you too. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's totally in the rules. Don't tell me I don't know how to play soccer. Goal! No goal! No goal! No goal! No goal! <laughs> you were lucky, that's all. Bring the ball back here and I'll show you who's the star. I don't know why I should go fetch it. You're the one who kicked. But, Eugenie, you touched the ball last. So you have to go fetch it. There's nothing to be done about it. It's the rule. Okay, if it's the rule. <laughs> hey, that's a foul! Nonsense! That was no foul! Not at all. 
all. It's not my fault if you don't like the rules. You see, Eugenie, town games are like that, okay? It's not like in the forest where you can do whatever you like. Well, sometimes I wish I was back in the forest. She's been to the forest? She's the one. She's our supreme guide. Sweetie Pies, it's dinner time. <laughs> Why don't you go back to the forest for dinner? Turns, we'll move into action. settle this with a carrot tossing contest. If I win, you go and Eugenie stays with us. If I lose, Eugenie goes with you if she feels like it, okay? Okay. I'm gonna show you what real carrot tossing is about. Watch and learn. <laughs> with carrot tossing like that, Eugenie won't be going anywhere. Thanks, Wash. Up we go, comrades! But hey, but that's cheating! You're not allowed yes, to- Yes, you are! I know carrot tossing rules all by heart! So, where are we going? To a wondrous, beautiful place. We'll explain later. Not in front of that dumb dog. See you soon, guys! Hey, but Eugenie, you, you can't just abandon your big brother like that! Leave it, Sam. If Eugenie prefers to go off with cheats... You're the one who couldn't stop cheating yesterday, Wash! And you deserve to be abandoned all on your own! No! Die coming along! I want to join your pure relief thing with you! You should join the LLRI instead. The League for Lousy Rabbit Impersonators. <laughs> <laughs> Can we come with you? Pigeons aren't pets. Come on, that's enough. Let's go. Hang on, they're my best friends. Show a bit of respect. Hmm. All right, they may come with us. The most important thing is the happiness of our supreme yeah. guide. So where are we going? To the forest, the land of freedom. Huh? The forest? But the forest isn't the land of freedom. It's the worst place on Earth. It's very dangerous. There are terrifying predators everywhere. There is no worse predator than human beings who live in towns. The forest is our salvation. There's no way I'm going to the forest. 
You are our Supreme Guide, the only one here who has been to the forest. I beg you, please take us there. Without you, we can never make our dream come true. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. There you go, we're there. Here's the forest. Wow, I love it. Everything is so natural here. We mustn't hang around here for long. We might bump into Mitch. He's right. If he sees us, the gruesome grizzly will never let us go back to town. <gasps> Thank you, Eugenie. Thank you for the bottom of our hearts. Could you take us somewhere with a bit more light, please? It's a bit dark around here. Hmm. Here, is this okay? Awesome! Comrades, at last we are free! Oh, this little trip has given me an appetite. When do we get to eat? Uh, see, in the wild, you have to go foraging for food yourselves. Thank you dearly, Eugenie, for taking care of it. But you've got to learn to get by without me. We've already voted. You're taking care of dinner. What's all that stuff? Why aren't there carrots on the menu? Because carrots don't grow in the forest. Anyway, it's your problem. We're going home. Never! You are our supreme god. You are staying with us. If you go, we'll come after you. We know where you live. Get it? The PRLF never gives up. <laughs> So, go find us some carrots and get a move on. <gasps> Don't hang around here. Go back to the living stones. It's all my fault. I should have never gone along with them. But you were to know, and I'll never abandon you. A true canary never deserts her friend. Me neither. But maybe I might just head back to the living stones at some point to fetch some. Shut up! I've been trailing you, Eugenie. Zip off your costume and show the PRLF you're not a rabbit. When they discover that you're not their supreme guide, they'll let you go. Wash, you're amazing. But that's no reason to start cheating again when we get back to the living stones. Mm. Look, I'm not a real rabbit. I cannot be your supreme guide. Ah, that weird creature has devoured our supreme guide. The lousy rabbit impersonator was right. The forest is full of evil predators. Run away! Not before we retrieve the hide of our supreme guide. Rally round, PRLF! Nice to see you, pals. Thanks, Susie, and thank you, friends. You are awesome. Match your service, Bab. At the PVLF, we stick together. See you soon. Okay, feel like getting back to the Living Stones? There's a soccer match on TV. We can check out the rules. Well, I never. What an incredible punch. Christopher has just floored his opponent. See? No foul. You can tell I'm not cheating. You're cheating. We're watching a boxing match, not a soccer match. You think Gustav, Angelica, and Guinevere got away? Don't worry, little sis. At this time of day, I'm sure they're tucked up nice and warm at home with their masters. You'll see. The four of us are going to have a ball. I'll take very special care of you. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Mud in your eyes or what? It looks like a vacuum cleaner. It's so obvious. So, so, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Got it! Whoa! Magnificent, my dear Alvarez! Your tattoo is totally awesome! What? A tattoo? Now that is classy! A tattoo? What's a tattoo? Oh, it's a drawing you do on your skin. You never watch tattoo TV? Yeah! It's almost time for a show! You coming, Eugenie? So, what'd you get tattooed? An eagle? A mermaid? So, where is it? Well, there, of course. Numbers? <laughs> I do not believe it. That's the dumbest tattoo I've ever seen. Uh, didn't you just say the tattoos were so classy? For sure. Except Alvarez's. <laughs> well, does our tattoo expert at least know that all dogs and cats must be tattooed? It's the law. <laughs> My master is just checking and making sure the neighbors are following the new regulation. Uh, 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 for sure. I knew that. Yeah, you knew that? I sure didn't. Of course we knew that, Sam! No, but uh, seriously, your tattoo is super cool. What tattoo parlor did you go to get it done? Tattoo parlor? I went to the vet to have it done, silly. Super soft. Two ply, 12 rolls. Three ply, six for, uh, there. Furry comfy. Are we even out of it? Huh. Tattoo TV, the show that knows all about... Tattoos! Mr. Livingstone is doing his shopping online. It's now or never, Sam. He'll be the lookout. Tattoo, tattoo. Bingo! Whoa! These ones are way too awesome. I knew you didn't have to go to the vet for one. What a loser that poor old Alvarez is. And voila! Meow! Meow! Furry comfy. Exactly what we need. Your order has been confirmed. Congratulations. <laughs> you have just won four free rolls of our Christmas special toilet paper. Available oh, in wow. your Wow! Did you hear that, honey? Mr. Livingstone, you rule. Let's go right this second. Did it, huh? Mm hmm I sure hope that Mr. Livingstone chose the same delivery. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone's delivery. Ta-da! Check it out, Sam. Who rules now, huh? 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 Now, isn't this classy? Wow! Yeah, yeah you guys are awesome. awesome! Whoa, you guys are heavyweights. Oh, yeah, you look amazing with those. <laughs> <laughs> Especially you, Wash. Oh, yeah? More like big time vulgar, I'd say. Huh? Seriously? Is this a joke or what? <laughs> Forget it. He's just jealous of our cool tattoos. Mm -hmm. Come on. We're going to go show off our stuff to someone else. You, Victoria. If I'm in here, it's precisely so you'll leave me alone. Hey, come on. You've slept enough already. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Now some long hair going down your neck, and you'll be perfect. Hmm. You really think so? <laughs> nope. Forget it, Sam. She's jealous, too. Let's see your tattoo. Ooh, a number? <laughs> Just like Alvarez? How super cool is that? <laughs> if we have numbers tattooed in our ears, it's not to look cool, you fools. It's so we can be identified. Wait a sec. You mean that that's why all dogs and cats have to tattoo silly, ugly numbers in their ears? Mm -hmm. And now, this month's Top 10 Tattoos! Awesome! Wash, what are we going to do? First, we gotta think, Sam. 
If the Living Stones see our tattoos, they're gonna look closely at our costumes and realize who we are. So we've got to- Hey there, guys! <laughs> really is our lucky day. Oh, you'll never believe this, honey. But with the four rolls we just picked up, why, we want eight more that we can pick up right now! <laughs> we absolutely have to get rid of these tattoos! I'm sure this will do the job. Hey, stop everything now! Tattoos, they're for life! Uh, the guy on the TV who said so! In full teenage rebellion, John Bruce tattoos his torso. Little does he know that this rash decision is for life! But after years of despair, John Bruce discovers that certain hospital surgeons are able to remove tattoos with laser treatment. Lasers? Aren't those used in outer space films? It's cool, Sam. All they have to do is aim well so they can only disintegrate the tattoos. No, what's gonna be the hardest is finding the lasers. How the heck do we get up into outer space? Huh? Can we go to the amusement park instead? It's right nearby, and besides, they've got tons of flying lasers there. Awesome idea, Susie. Sam, we're out of here. Not a second to lose. Retreat, everybody. We're going back through the kitchen. Perfect time. I was looking for you. It's about your pets. All your pets have been tattooed, I presume? Uh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> because that is the law. Any animal who has not been tattooed shall be considered wild, and as a consequence, sent to the local pal. <laughs> Perfect timing. Did you know that animals who have not been appropriately tattooed are totally forbidden from going out in the yard? Sorry, that's the law. After all, we cannot have just any old wild animal hanging out around here. Hey there, sweetie pies. Where are you? Quick, Sam, let's hide all this. Come on now, Wash. Be a good dog. Let go of Sam. We have to go see the vet to get your tattoos. Leave them alone, honey. They're stressed out. It's normal. Don't worry. The vet will know how to reassure them. <laughs> Perhaps we should also ask the vet to give them a checkup. Wash, what are we going to do? We've got to stay like this, Sam. If the vet sees our tattoos, he's going to look at our costumes and then we'll be goners! go back to the supermarket in less than an hour, I can win 10 <laughs> new rolls of toilet paper. 10! <laughs> can you believe that, honey? I told you they were inseparable, Vladimir, but that shouldn't stop you from being able to tattoo their ears. Are you serious, Velma? I wouldn't know who I'm tattooing. Sam or Wash, Web or Sash. Well, in that case, why don't you separate them yourself? So, you were right. This has gone on long enough. Wash, 
What is he doing? He's giving up, Sam. He realized that it's impossible to separate us. That's good, Java. There's nothing like freshly ground coffee. <laughs> You, you, you found the laser? So, who's the best? Awesome! My eagle has flown away! <laughs> no doubt about it. It's one of the most beautiful tattoos I've ever done, right? <laughs> yep, we got tattoos now, too. And check it out, our numbers are even way higher than yours. Huh, ridiculous. And thank you guys for the helping hand. You did a great job on this one. That's kind of you, Sam. But you better thank the alien. Thank you, you too, alien, alien friends. friends. Honey. The supermarket was hosting a contest on their website and I won oh. my weight in toilet paper. Can you help me carry it inside? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. In order to trick its numerous predators, certain insects blend in with their environment, such as the phasmid, which takes on the appearance of a stick. Ah! The stick has feet! Good thing the narrator just explained that it's an insect that disguises itself as a stick. Wow! He really is the king of disguise, then! Are you crazy? I'm the king of disguise! I don't know why it should be you. Susie and Eugenie are pretty awesome, too. <laughs> Well, duh! I taught them all they know! That's not true! Sam, who's the king of disguise? Wash or your darling little sister who loves you so much? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, you will be the king of disguise! <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother looking. I have reached a level where I've almost become a real dog! Oh, one thing I'll say, you sure aren't the king of modesty. Come on, girls. Let's leave the king with his jester. <sighs> I am going to turn you girls into the queens of disguise. <laughs> Ta-da! Wow! You are awesome when it comes to making authentic looking disguises. The costume is nothing, actually. The most important thing is to try to embody your characters. Try barking. Woof! 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 Uh, Susie, let Eugenie handle the barking. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have a gas. Just you wait and see. If you are able to fool Wash and trick him into giving you his share of kibble, he'll have to admit that you guys are the queens of disguise. Uh? <laughs> They're coming. Balls in your court. Woof, woof. Is that box there yelping? Puppies? Oh, they're the cutest puppies I've ever seen. Boy, am I ever annoyed. You could have told me you had kids. I mean, how long have we known each other? Sam, I'm a fox. Foxes don't have puppies. I cannot be their father. Understand? But I understand how you might be confused after all. I am the king of disguise, so it's logical for you to see me as a real dog. So, what are your names? <laughs> Way to go, girls. Okay, so you, you're going to be Napoleon, and you are Jean-Michel. You are so awesome when it comes to choosing puppy names. Oh, and where do these darling creatures come from? These puppies are under my responsibility. Puppies? Are you sure they're puppies? <laughs> Very funny, Vic. I know a puppy when I see one. Thank you! 
Washington found what cutie pies. <sighs> but whose puppies are they? They're surely abandoned, and Wash has taken them under his wing. We're going to take great care of you, darlings. You must be starving. I'm going to take care of that on the double. Hello, yours are the little boys. Honey, don't you think we should talk about this new adoption before getting all carried away? Shh, not here, not in front of the puppies. Yeah, I know, Napoleon. No, Jean-Michel. Those are for the adults. You've had your dinner. Sam, you're being heartless. They were abandoned. I bet they've had nothing to eat for days. Here, little guys, don't listen to him. He's selfish. <laughs> I'm so happy the Livingstones are adopting you. Let me make some room for you in my basket. Sam, you stay with them. I'll just be a second. Maybe you should go hide your stuff, no? My stuff? What stuff? These little puppies seem so starved that you wouldn't want them finding a roast chicken under the sofa. Or in the bathroom closet now, would you? Yeah, mind looking after them for a sec? I'll be right back. We did it! Wash didn't notice a thing, and he gave you his portion of kibble. You two are Definitely the queens of disguise. Whee! And now, as soon as Wash comes back, you take off your costumes, okay? I can't wait to see their faces when they find out. Well, uh, I don't think so. We're gonna stay puppies. It's way cooler than being a canary or a rabbit. And besides, we get three times as much kibble. Uh, say what? Well, yeah. Somebody's gotta eat Eugenie and Susie's kibble too. Uh, girls, it's great. You won. But now you're going to take off those costumes immediately. You're just jealous because we're the queens of the sky. For sure. And I bet you just want to pretend you're a dog like us. Listen, do whatever you want, but I will have warned you. Just you two wait and see who has the last laugh. You don't want your kibble? The puppies are going to grow up fast, and soon we won't have any more room in the house. I'd love to keep them, but really, we can't. You're right. But we can't just abandon them. We have to find them a family. I've heard that Mrs. Appleton wants to adopt a pet for her children. Gracie and Alfie? Are you sure? It's true. They are a bit weird, but that's just one more reason. I'm sure the contact with pets will help them straighten up. <laughs> I'm certain that my little darlings are going to care for them as if they were precious treasures. <laughs> Look what I brought you! Aren't they just adorable? No, we wanted a turtle. And you're giving us ugly puppies instead. So in fact, I'm sure you're going to adore them and just look in their eyes. You can tell they already love you. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Napoleon and Jean-Michel have disappeared. They warned you, Wash. A big brother must never let his little brothers or sisters out of his sight. Me, for example, I never take my eyes off Eugenie 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah? And where is Eugenie? Yeah. Well, she's, uh, uh, Eugenie? Uh, Eugenie! Eugenie? Eugenie! Eugenie! Oh, she disappeared! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're the worst older brothers in the world! Stop! Napoleon and Jean Michel are Eugenie and Susie disguised as puppies. B -b -b what? It started as a joke to prove that you weren't the only one who was a master of disguise, Washington. But I have to admit, it got way out of hand. The girls are prisoners of Elfie and Gracie. But that's just awful. What are we going to do? What do you think we're going to do? We're going to free them. But to do that, Washington's going to have to dress up as a turtle. What? Are you joking? Hey, I thought you were the king of disguises. <laughs> uh, you're disguised as a turtle? Are you sure of that? Be patient while the King of Disguise lets his talent emerge. Look what I prepared 
for you, ugly puppy. A super dirt cake and a bowl of pebble soup. Vroom, vroom, vroom. At least I don't think they do. There's got to be some other explanation. There! They're in the toy box! My beloved sister! Those little monsters! <laughs> I'm gonna, we're going to get our super turtle to swim in the bathtub! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! She's floating! I want to see the turtle be a submarine! I Get to and uh, since that's a uh, water and all. Kind of like Sam, them. they're not kittens. You can see full well they don't look like cats. What could they be, though? I'm sure I've seen them before. Those? Those are real puppies. I thought you knew how to recognize a puppy, Washington. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. I knew that. <laughs> but hey, look, it's TV. What you see is always distorted. It's hard to recognize things. And there's this glare, gets in my eyes, and I... I, I yeah, I, I, right. Instead of being the king of disguise, you wouldn't be the king of bad faith by any chance, would you? Uh, uh, uh what? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What? Humans who work in supermarkets throw out perfectly good food into the garbage? Uh-huh. Why in the world would they do that? Go figure, Sam. You know humans, always doing really bizarre things. Shouldn't we have asked the girls to give us a hand? Nah, this is our treasure, Sam. Just for the two of us. There it is. We're gonna put everything in the cart and bring it back to the yard. <laughs> huh? What do these two deadbeats want? Yeah, uh, we, uh, want to get the leftovers from the supermarket. Because this happens to be our dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know. <clears throat> Let me make things clear. This entire street is my turf. Maybe we could share, like 50-50? Nah, we never share with losers. <laughs> Say what? What do they mean by losers? Losers. Hmm, let's see, how should I say this? You, for example, with your tacky costumes. Well, you're losers. And they yeah. are the exact opposite. They're cool. Huh? Those guys? They're cool? Oh, oh yeah! yeah! They're hipsters! The coolest guys in the world! Have you ever heard of zipsters? 
But they do weird things, no? Then why shouldn't they? You know, when you're cool, you're allowed to do anything. Totally. Hipsters impose their coolitude. <sighs> they absolutely rule the city. Sam, I've got a plan so we can get our treasure out of the dumpster. We become Zipsters. But I thought we were losers. <laughs> and that's gonna change. Once we become Zipsters, we'll be so cool that Fang will be dying to share with us. Mm -hmm. And what if he refuses? Then we'll help ourselves. After all, Zipsters are allowed to do anything. <laughs> this Zipster kit I ordered on the net is just awesome. Ooh. Ooh. We're almost there, Sam. Are you sure? Zipster, Sam. <laughs> you sure about that? Absolutely. Maybe we should check the guide to being a perfect Zipster, no? Nah, don't need it. Just look how cool we are. So? Mm -hmm. I'm hesitating between ridiculous and hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> What's gotten into them? It looks like they're making fun of us. Nah, no way. It's just that... We've got the look, but not the attitude. Remember what the girls said, Zipsters impose coolitude. They're allowed to do anything. We gotta impose, Sam. Ah! Sorry, girls, but we wanna watch something else. <laughs> uh, hey, are you nuts or what? Who do you think you are, anyway? A Zipster. <laughs> you mind, Vic? <laughs> Totally wacko! Don't you dare put your butt on my pillow! Oh, yeah. I don't get it! I thought they just loved zipsters! They think we're fake zipsters! No! Oh, it's because they know our beards are fake! If nobody takes us seriously, Fang will never give us our share of the food! Of course! Once we're outside, nobody will know these are fake beards! And this time, we're gonna follow the guide to being a perfect Zipster. You see, Sam, in order to pass ourselves off as perfect Zipsters, we gotta do cool stuff like that. Hmm. Our turn to play. <laughs> hey, those are ours! <laughs> Who are those two bozos? <laughs> look out! You're the one who has to look out, buddy, because we are Zipsters! <laughs> well, how do you stop this thing? You know those guys? Hmm, wouldn't be Wash and Sam Livingstone, would it? Impossible! And washed out of beards. They, they stole, stole our bikes! Give us back our toys, you mean thieves! What are you doing? We didn't steal anything, Sam. We're zipsters. We impose ourselves, period. It's sure not easy being a zipster. Yeah, but it's worth it. Check out all our admirers. Hmm. Stop! <laughs> Who do you think you are, anyway? It's absolutely forbidden for pets to make little kids cry. Where did you come from? <laughs> there? Yeah, well, we know the animals who live there, and they're nothing at all like you. Especially Wash, who is more handsome, more intelligent, more... Yeah, right. Uh. Total nonsense. As for you two guys... <laughs> and don't even dream of ever stepping a foot in here again, you bubs! <sighs> Sam, can you believe it? We look so much like Zipsters that nobody can recognize us. Do you realize what the future has in store for us? 
Uh, cool stuff. Way better, Sam. A future without our costumes. Since no one recognizes us anymore, there's no reason to hide. <laughs> reached a level of ultimate zipstertude, Sam. We rule the city, so now's the moment to go find Fang and recover what is rightfully ours from that dumpster. <laughs> hey, yo, hip cats. Mm -hmm. How's about going 50-50 on the dumpster with me and my main dude here? Oh, yeah? And why would I do that? Cause we have become zipsters. Zip what? Zipsters, dude. Isn't our look sufficient proof? What are they doing? We are doing the knee jerk, which is not something for losers. That's right, Fang. And now we belong to the club that rules the city. More like fools of the city, I'd say. <laughs> fools? I thought we were zipsters. Of course we are. And since Fang doesn't want to share, we're going to impose. <laughs> Hey there, you clowns. Didn't you hear? <laughs> but they're, they're wild beasts. Ah! Let me alive! <laughs> and to think the solution was in front of our snouts the whole time. All we had to do was be ourselves. The wild ones! <laughs> <laughs> why didn't we think of that sooner? Ah! That's probably why we didn't think of it sooner. My lettuce smoothie! Huh? Where did they put their costumes? Come on, I got an idea! <laughs> <laughs> and to think that we barely even got to taste the life of a zipster! Like that lettuce smoothie? Blah! <laughs> <laughs> What in the heck are those critters? Looks like a rabbit and a canary wearing beards. Unbelievable! Don't move. I've got to take a photo for my Instagram account. Hmm? Oh, rats, we forgot all about our wild animals. Hmm? Hmm? Ah. Phew, that was a close call. So, who's the coolest now, huh? Way to go, girls. Thanks a ton. But you can get rid of your beards now. Enough zipstery for one day. Girls? Those zipsters are girls with beards? And to thank you, we have decided to share our treasure with you. At least the zipster effect helped us get rid of Fang. <laughs> yeah, more like the no costume effect. <laughs> Boy, what a bunch of losers. They don't even have beards. And yet, Everybody knows that if you want to be a hip pet, you can't be without one. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, 
still have to keep our secret. Abracadabra! <laughs> what? How did you do that? <laughs> it's just a scam. It's obvious. A scam? What scam? There is no scam, Vic. It's plain to see. That's magic! Sorry to ruin your dream, Sam, but magic does not exist. Of course magic exists. My grandpa had a magic flute that could magic everybody and everything. Even when he was hungry, Grandpa Zachary would toot on his flute and chicken would come running straight out, bewitched by its magic spell. Really? It's totally true. And because he spent his time eating everything in sight, Grandpa Zachary lost all his teeth. If that's not proof, what is? It's baloney. That's what it is. You know what? My grandpa had a pixie tambourine, and whenever he shook it, everyone started talking humbug. Say, he must have been buddies with your grandpa, Wash. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, very funny. I could bring you back a magic flute, no problem, Vic. Okie dokie, you do that. In the meantime, I'm gonna conjure myself up some magic shut-eye. Abracadabra! Who are you gonna try it out on? There are no chickens around here. No need for chickens. We got Vic. Yeah, it's true that Vic sure does smell good. She must taste amazing. Not to eat her, Sam. We have to prove to her that magic exists. I'm gonna magic her with my flute. Here, put these on your ears. That'll save you from falling under the magic spell. But what are you gonna use? It's a traditional fox flute. Foxes are protected from it. <laughs> what? Say, Vic, could you please lend us your cushion? Sure, no problem. Whatever you want. Come on, take a seat. Don't stand on ceremony. Whoa! Reckon she could bring us some kibble, too? Sure, no problem. Feel free to ask me whatever you like. Don't be shy. Can we try your flute? Come on, can we try? Come on, please! Sorry, girls, it's a traditional fox flute. Only works with foxes. Aww. If that's the way it is, we're gonna make our very own magic flute. Yeah! A super duper flute in the canary rabbit tradition! Whoa! Thanks, Vic! Thanks, Vic. Now, make like a banana and split, would you? Sure, with pleasure. <laughs> So, Sam, if this isn't the life, huh? Kibble and a couch and a cushion. Bless. <laughs> if we didn't wear these dumb costumes, life would be heaven. <laughs> hey, Wash, how about you magic the living stone so that they let us hang around the house without our costumes on? Smart idea. Only problem is, I don't know if my flute works on humans. I've never tried. <laughs> Perfect! We can make our flute from this! Hey! It's the sculpture I made in art class! I wondered what had happened to that. Oh, amazing! You found it, honey! I should have dug deeper. You know what, honey? This has made me want to start sculpture again! <laughs> I'm gonna get myself a big block of marble to make a sculpture even bigger, and we'll put it in the living room, huh? Wash, <laughs> how are we gonna find out if the magic flute has worked on the living stones? They always get so starry-eyed about everything. Ah. If the flute's magic has really worked, they'll understand everything I say. Could you possibly take a band of wild animals into your home, please? Of course. Anything you want. We have a fox in the house. Amazing. Wow, a wild boar. I've always dreamed of living with a wild boar. How about we welcome them with one of our special homemade smoothies? 
life is gonna be good here! Yeah! This will be better than anything ever! This magic flute is awesome! Say, let's give it a go! Oh! What in the world is that? It's a magic flute, Play-Doh! Maybe it's not so magic as we thought it was. Maybe it didn't blow hard enough. Yeah! What on earth? <laughs> oh! no! A a bar! Bar! What happened was... The magic flute spell has been broken by that weird sound. Quick, cover your ears, Sam. Ah! <sighs> Could you possibly remove the jar off my head, please? Of course. Anything you Here, want. Let me help you and we'll go fetch you another special smoothie. <laughs> That stuff sure smells weird. And what's more, it's disgusting. I gotta wash this stuff off. And one certainly couldn't wear outfits like this in the 21st century. They'd be thrown in the garbage immediately. You, yeah, of course, anything you want. You should be ashamed of yourself, scaring honest dogs like that. Look what you've done to that <laughs> poor. Like with Wash's flute. Maybe we're not playing the right note. <laughs> 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 uh, you okay, Sam? Yeah, I'm great. Happy is the burger in the bun. What do you want to watch? Hey, what's wrong with you? That's the first time you've ever let me choose a program where you're the one holding the remote. Don't tell me the flute is magic to you, too! Huh? Honey, was it your crazy idea to zap up this chocolate soap and radish smoothie? No, I, uh... Weren't we going to look for a block of marble for my new statue? I think we better get our costumes back on, Sam. No, they're in the dumpster. In the dumpster? Who put them in the dumpster? Uh, I did. Yeah, it, it was the woman on the TV. She told me to do it. <laughs> it's you making those weird noises? How did you do that? Just like this. <gasps> it really doesn't work like Wash's flute. Come on, let's go ask him. Wash? Wash? Where are you? Works on people on the TV too? How are we going to get to the junkyard without our costumes? <laughs> Can you drop us off somewhere, please? Of course, whatever you want. Come on, get in. See you soon, guys. Look after yourselves. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Those guys from the pound are really cool. Why are we usually so afraid of them? Hmm. It works even less than in the yard. They haven't even reacted. In my opinion, it's because the show is pre-recorded. You're right. I'll find another show. As this footage shows, right now as I speak, a fox and a wild boar are at large in the local junkyard. There is no cause for concern. The site guardian and his faithful hound have the problem under control. Whoop! Wash and Sam? Now's the moment to see if our flute really works! Here! Our costumes! They're gonna recycle them! Gee! Wait for me! <laughs> Get your earmuffs on, Sam! Shh, you're gonna wake up the guard! Titan? Quiet! Keep the noise down! I know! It's because he wants to play! Come on, boy, punch! There, that got him! So, but... I think things are in order! Wild animals in my junkyard? You have exactly five seconds to get out of here! Five... 
the costumes, Wash. One. Ah. Right on time. After all that running around, a massage would be most welcome. Hey, Vic, Vic, seen our amazing flute? No! You can also bring us your share of kibble. Right here in a bowl, please. Hmm. Anything else? I expect you're wanting a massage, too, while you're at it. Ah, oh, that was too good to be true. What on earth was that horrible sound? Titan? Titan? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Why was I crying again? Uh, because I wish I was a cat so I could eat kibble all day long and watch TV. Oh, yeah. Because I wish I was a cat so I could eat TVs and watch kibble. Day long, all? Oh, forget it, Sam. With my magic rainbow, I grant you happiness and wonder. Hmm? Thank you, Eugenie. A unicorn. It's a game. We're only pretending I'm Lily the Unicorn. <laughs> Lily the Unicorn. That's totally for babies. Hogwash! Lily the Unicorn is amazing. If you say so. Okay, Sam. Put your costume back on. Let's go outside and play something cool, maybe, huh? <laughs> What's up with you guys? You're doing great. How about yourself? You should watch what you're doing. You nearly squished my face off, and I gotta go perform on Animal Star, you knuckleheads. What's that I hear? Who dares argue in the land of wonder? What on earth is that? Well, you know, the Masters had this unicorn come visit, but she was about to leave. Have you gone out of your mind? What do you think you're playing at? At least I look like a unicorn, right? Get inside and zip up your rabbit costume before the living stones get back from the market. There is no more Eugenie. Now my name is Gigi, the happy unicorn. Okay, let me explain. A unicorn is an imaginary animal, which means that outside the TV, they don't exist. If the living stones discover you like that, you'll blow your cover straight away, and you can say farewell happiness and hello to a world of horror back in the forest. Too bad, because I put my rabbit costume in the trash. So from now on, it's unicorn or nothing. We're home. Sam, haul him off in the house. Susie, come with me. <laughs> Susie, keep watch while I get her costume back. Where on earth did she put it? Alert! Alert! Mr. Livingstone is gonna put the market basket in Gigi's hiding place! Too late! I can't believe it! It's incredible! Have you seen this, sweetie pies? A unicorn! Isn't it magnificent? Hey, honey! I found a baby unicorn in the shack in the yard. Isn't it amazing? I've always dreamt of having my own unicorn. And to think you said they didn't exist. Oh, yes, indeed. Have you seen this, sweetie pies? Oh, hey, where's Eugenie? She must be having her afternoon nap somewhere. 
Quick, a selfie. I've got to get it on my Hamstergram account. You must be hungry, cutie pie. Kibble all around, my lovely furballs. It's not every day your dream comes true. So, who is it that said farewell happiness and hello world of horror, yada, yada, yada? Not me. And here you can trot around to your heart's content. Hello, Mr. Snobby Nose. Let me introduce my lovely little marvel. A unicorn? <laughs> How ridiculous. Oh. It's the Animal Star TV show. Hello, yes. Huh? What do you mean? Hmm? Animal Star canceled Alvarez. They found somebody better on a hamstergram account. Don't you realize what this means? It's an outrage. Which animal could possibly surpass Alvarez? Come on, you know what they say. See a unicorn and feel happy all day. Honey, hmm. Animal Star wants a phone interview with you. They even canceled an Afghan Greyhound to talk about your unicorn. <laughs> Sorry, important call to make. Let me leave you with your new friend, Susie. This is amazing! What do you want to do now that you're a unicorn? I want to make everybody happy, duh! And to begin with, with my magic heart and rainbow power, I name you Deputy of Happiness! Yippee! Everything I dreamed of! Thank you, Gigi! Give me that remote control! Uh-huh! Uh -huh. Gosh, with my magic horn and rainbow power, let me make your dearest dream come true! I name you Commander of the Remote Control! Mm. Sounds right. Banana pancakes! Win the holiday of a lifetime! And cream sauce with broccoli and... Sam, don't sulk. You heard what Gigi said. trying to sleep around here. There's no need to be so unkind. Kindness is the food of life. Otherwise, it'll cost you one kibble in the naughty box. Pop mm -hmm. up. <laughs> and what are you gonna do next, you? Complaining is forbidden. That'll be two kibble now. But I don't have any. Don't lie to me. I know you stashed them under your pillow. <gasps> now you're up to three kibble. <sighs> yes, with my magic horn, I can indeed make you happy. What is your dearest wish? We want to have the same litter box as Vic. Her litter box is the best. They say it smells like cotton candy. I'd like the same neckerchief as Alvarez. He never lets me borrow it. With my magic horn and rainbow power, all of your wishes will be granted. Hmm. Oh. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? That's my litter box. Don't worry, you can share Sam's litter box. What? It's not a hat, it's my cravat! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Happiness is all about sharing. With my magic horn, I declare that Vincent has the right to wear his neckerchief hat every other day. <laughs> no complaining. Cough it up. One kibble in the naughty box. Totally but when everything is said and done, I decided to throw my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Say, dumbbells, quit the magic unicorn act, or there's gonna be trouble. Boo hoo hoo, we're so afraid. <laughs> you know that wild animals are forbidden in this yard. Well, so are imaginary animals, too. Really? See your unicorn? You'd better lock it up indoors right this instant, or else. What's all this? Not more arguments. He started it. Ah, 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 give me your paws. With my magic horn, I offer the ribbon of friendship. Go make peace, mm -hmm. or else. You gotta listen to Gigi. She can make us happy using her magic horn. Ever since she turned up, I've had all the kibble like you need. Ah, ah, ah. She's watching us, quick, let's be peaceful. But that is disgusting. Alvarez, what has happened to your dignity and your cravat? Here I was coming out to post photos of you on Hamstergram. 
How horrific! You leave me no choice, Alvarez. I'm going to have to replace you with a magic animal even more magical than a unicorn. And he will make it onto Animal Star. An animal more magical than a unicorn? Whatever can that be? I intend to steal the horn of that ridiculous unicorn and become magic in her place. I shall make it onto Animal Star and win back my master's love. What is going on here? Uh, a wild animal? I'm calling the dog pound. Uh. Oh. Hello, animal pound. Uh, can't you see the poor little creature is terrorized? She must feel so lost. I shall take her back to the forest myself right this instant. Give me all the kibble I can eat! Sam, there are worse matters at hand! If you're hungry, eat this! Thanks, Wash! Eugenie's costume! She hid it in her magic horn! I'm just taking the baby boar back to the forest. You can help me look for Eugenie when you get home. I'm getting worried. <laughs> Genie, what are you doing here, beautiful? You haven't seen a baby boar, have you? Huh? He got out through the window? Okay, I guess he must have set off home. Come on, I have to introduce you to our extraordinary new friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, where did she go? Phew! I looked everywhere. Nothing. Our unicorn has disappeared. You know, honey, that's the thing with magic animals. They appear and disappear just like that. But when we have such a magnificent crew of fantastic furry friends, who needs unicorns to be happy? No, oh, you're right, honey. So, what are you watching, Lily the Unicorn? Ha! Huh, that's for babies. We're watching Goliath the Dragon. Now that's cool. Okay with the dragon, but no fooling around this time, okay? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody, it's time for Singing, singing in, in the, the Shower, shower. The, the show that gets, gets your morning rocking. And with no further ado, mm. let's welcome Josephine, who's going to sing her latest hit live from her bathroom. Would it drain all your brain cells to let some of us sleep? When you don't know how to sing, you keep quiet, okay? Mm. First of all, we know how to sing. That's what you think. I happen to have perfect ears, and I can tell you that you guys sing like a bunch of elephants. Huh? What's so special about your ear? My ear is perfect. That means I know when you're singing on key or off, and you guys are off, way, way, way off, and too loud, so. Hey, cut it out, Vic. They're allowed to have fun. Sure, in total silence. Keep it up, girls, and pretty soon it's you who will be on TV. <laughs> Sorry? It means good morning in dolphin. Ah, your new learn while you sleep method. Is it really working? Like a charm, as you can see. Thank you, Washington. Good job. <laughs> oh, honey, look at this. Why don't we sign Susie up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Girls, girls, stop! 
Susie, the Livingstones want to sign you up for a singing canary contest. Are you nuts? Susie, if you sing, the Livingstones will find out that you're not a real canary, which means a one-way ticket back to the forest. Huh? Why wouldn't I be able to sing like a canary, huh? Uh, because you're a blackbird? Susie, <laughs> what would you say to a little musical rehearsal, huh? I'd like to find out if you're good enough to enter a contest. I'm going to play you a little number on the flute, and then I want you to repeat it as faithfully as possible. Your turn, Susie. Good. What is this horror show? What in the world is this circus? Mr. Livingstone is quickly understanding that Susie doesn't sing like a canary. So, in two minutes tops, we'll all be found out and sent packing into the forest. Any other questions? What singing? What a voice! Why, Susie, that's marvelous! And it's not like I'm surrounded by a bunch of winners, either. In Dolphin, breakfast is cold. <laughs> Honey, can I borrow your tablet? Susie turns out to be a diva of a singer. It would be a shame not to enter her in the contest. But of course, honey, I always knew Susie was talented. <laughs> mm. What do you think Vic meant when she said she wasn't surrounded by a bunch of winners? Nothing. That's just Vic. You know how she is. What's important is that Mr. Livingstone is persuaded now that Susie is a real canary, and we can hang out and tranquilly watch TV. Before our live broadcast of the world-famous canary singing contest, we've got an exclusive interview of the president of the jury who has kindly opened his home to us. How about a word of advice to all the canaries watching us who have entered tomorrow's contest? Well, practice like your life depended on it, and don't cheat. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away, and every bird that's ever... We've got to find a way to stop your taking part in this contest, Susie. It's way too risky. But I want to enter the contest! Susie, Mr. Snobby Nose is not like Mr. Livingstone. He's an expert. He'll find out right from the first note that you're not a real canary. You don't understand. When I was little, everyone made fun of me. In fact, I'm going to be your personal trainer. Sam, that's super nice of you, but I'm not sure that a wild boar cat is the best person to teach a blackbird how to sing like a canary. I've got a better idea. By listening to a canary while you're asleep, your subconscious will learn how to sing. And tomorrow for the contest, you'll be brilliant. Just like Mrs. Levingstone and her dolphins. Honey, you wouldn't have seen my headphones and tablet by any chance? And, uh, a canary? <laughs> no! That's a lion! I can't believe it, Wash! Please don't tell me you forgot to put that canary video on repeat play! Yeah, uh, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know. Why? Because there were other videos streaming after that! And so Susie has memorized every single animal sound except the one we're interested in! Way to go, Mr. Brain Surgeon. Oh, hey, no problem. All we have to do is put the canary video back on. Hmm? Oh, no. I don't believe it. Don't worry, Wash. Maybe we could just go to Mr. Snobby Nose. Oh, yeah, of course. So we can tell him to his face that Susie's not a real canary, give him our costumes, and then head back to the forest? Got any other brilliant ideas, Sam? Uh, no. I can't think of any other solution for listening to canary singing. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. Of course! Sam, you're Susie, where are you? Time to go! Lend me your costume, Susie. I've got an idea that will help us stall for time. Well, well, Susie. You seem to be in fine shape for the contest. In fact, it looks like you've put on some weight. I just hope you still fit into your cage. <laughs> go on, hop in. Oh, Susie, it's no time to play. It's time to Coast go! Coast is clear. 
Get back here! <laughs> Susie! Ouch! Come on, Alvarez, hurry up! Even though the contest won't start without us, that's no reason to show up late. <laughs> All right, Susie, you're on. A half a tone higher, Susie. There. Perfect. Come, come now. No reason to get stage fright like that, Susie. Everything's going to be just fine. Honey, I'm leaving. Good luck. Yay, where's your genie? Even with a canary costume, she couldn't have flown away, could she? Oh, no! Eugenie! And welcome to the International Canary Singing Contest! How about a big round of applause for Hubert, our first contestant! What? I'll cut off my left ear if that bird is a canary. He's a robin at best. And our first contestant has been disqualified after only two and 57 one hundredth of a second. Our jury president has wasted no time in letting us know that he will be inflexible when it comes to cheating. We're goners! Eugenie doesn't stand a chance! And now for our second contestant, Myrtle! What a joke! That song was pre-recorded! Incredible! Myrtle has just been disqualified! Will Susie, our third canary, have more luck than our first two contestants? I can't watch this. Susie, begin! The jury is getting impatient! So cool, isn't it? If she doesn't win the contest with that... I can tell you that's no canary, but... What in the world is this bizarre specimen? Fly away, Eugenie, uh -huh. quick! He's going to discover your disguise! Very impressive. This majestic winged creature appears to be a distant cousin of the Sumatra Tam Tam bird. Good heavens, honey! Why the long face? What happened? Susie's not a real canary. She's an exotic bird. A distant cousin of the Chickatoomy Tam Tam bird, or something like that. And it's strictly forbidden to keep such exotic birds in captivity. Honey, do you realize that all this time we've been breaking the law? Shouldn't you call the vet just to be 100% sure about this? Susie, go sing into the phone to make the vet think that you're a real canary. It's our only chance! Susie's not a real canary. What in the world is this all about? Well, that's what Mr. Snobby knows, the jury president said, and... Ah! Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be! Susie just asked you if the coffee's ready in Dolphin! Can you believe that? I don't know what kind of nonsense is going on in your house, but allow me to say without the hint of a doubt that if that is indeed Susie singing, she is 100% canary. And now, if you will excuse me, I am very busy. Right, now where was I? Well, there you go, honey. Mr. Snobby Nose was mistaken. It's, uh, human, you know? Not bad, huh? I have to agree, they're pretty good. And it's all thanks to me. Well, you should have brought that canary instead. He would have won the contest. He's singing the Trombado Canary Fugue in C major to perfection. I swear it's the same canary. But I just don't understand. He started singing like my rabbit. Must have been stage fright or something. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Oysters for 
for breakfast. Now that's paradise. I don't get it. Where are all the trees that grow these delicious nuts? Say, you're right. I bet that Sam could find them in a blink. Do you think it was a good idea to leave them alone? I mean, a whole weekend's pretty long, isn't it? Don't worry, honey. Everything will be okay. As we speak, why, I bet they're fast asleep having sweet dreams. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I'm the Living Stone's new cat! <laughs> Listen to the voice of your conscience. The day you will have vanquished your fear is the day that Mitch shall no longer be a danger for you. It is only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. Because real cats are afraid of only one thing, water. But, but will you know, know how to find this jewel of feline, feline courage, courage deep inside you, little wild boy? <laughs> Same nightmare, Sam? Every time we have to go see Mitch, it's the same story. Oh, is today the day? What was it he demanded from us this time to leave us alone? Mm -hmm. Oh, no! Not the TV! Oh, no! My best, best, good, good, my almost best friend. But that's way too dangerous. The Living Stones will surely find out. The last few times it was already risky enough. Christ, did I forget the chicken? Hmm. Say, honey, didn't there used to be a kitchen table? <sighs> Nothing better than a good bed for a good nap. Yeah. That's weird. I don't remember sleeping on the floor. If the TV disappears, then they'll surely know it was us and we'll be kicked out. We're simply not going to give them the TV. I have an infallible plan. I always <laughs> knew you were the best, Wash. So, what is it? Ta-da! <laughs> we, too, can blackmail Mitch. Mm -hmm. We're gonna tell him that if he keeps demanding things from us, we're gonna embarrass him to death uh. by showing this totally ridiculous photo to everyone. Not bad, huh? It stinks! Mm -hmm. And it'll never work! Mm -hmm. Just wait and see how awesome my plan is. Go for it, Wash. I'm totally with you. My thoughts are, anyway. I'll stay here and watch over the TV. Can we come with you? You're way too young. And that's why you haven't understood anything about my plan. <laughs> Boy, is your film ever dumb. No, it's actually quite good. But you don't understand anything because you're too young. Boy, am I ever sick of hearing that. We're going to show them how we're not too young at all. We're going to go play in the yard. See you later. It's not a couple of silly little pine trees that are going to scare me. I used to live here in this forest. And in fact, I was kind of the king of the fo- We should have left sooner. How are we ever going to find him? Oh, there! It's him! Phew, that was close. Hi there, Washington. <laughs> Everything cool? Your friend went off to the forest alone, and you, you're stuffing your face in front of the TV? That's because I'm stressed out. In moments like this, the only right thing works to calm me down. They have to eat. So, where's my TV? It is, and will remain, at the Living Stones. Your days of blackmail are over, Mitch. Ha-ha! What ha-ha? Well, if you continue threatening to replace us at the Living Stones, I'll circulate this photo amongst all the animals in the forest. And for you, it'll be Shame City. Why, you won't be able to leave your cave without being the laughing stock of the whole forest. So, what do you say? No, Wash, please! I beg you, don't do that! <laughs> The girls were right. This video is dumb. And besides, it reminds me of the forest. Boy, I hope Wash makes it out okay. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm starting to stress out again. Absolutely gotta get something to eat. No, oh, no, I'm stressing. I'm really stressing out. I'm stressed. No, 
now, Sam. Wash is getting us rid of Mitch. With what he's doing for us, there's no way you can eat his kibble. Then again, isn't it Wash who always says that those who are absent always lose in the end? Rats, I'm still totally stressed out. I must not have eaten enough. But if I was blackmailing you, it was just so I could see my friends. Meaning? Well, you guys! My friends! If I hadn't done that, would you have ever come to visit me? Uh, no. <laughs> Mitch, don't cry. Because now that I'm here, we could, uh... Why don't we play Clever Fox like we used to, remember? You would hide and I would look for you. You were the best in the whole forest at that game. That's true. I was pretty good. In fact, you never found me. Do you think you could this time? Don't worry about that. I'll count while you take off your costume and go hide. <gasps> what? Take off my costume? Well, yeah. Yes, you're not going to play Clever Fox disguised as a dog. Hmm? You don't trust me, is that it? Go on then, leave! There's no point in playing if it's gonna be like that. No, I mean, of course I do. I'll do it, Mitch. Go on, start counting. <laughs> same game, same rules. No caves and no foxholes. One, two... Wash three, has been taken for a ride. Can you see that Mitch is putting on a nap? Six, seven, eight... Now, nine, what was it I did in the past to win Clever Fox every time? Ah, but of course, that's right. I always cheated. Oh, don't tell me he's going to fall for it. <laughs> Mitch will never find me here. So, who's the cleverest? Girl, clever fox. Cheating as usual, are we? I warned you, Wash, that if you didn't bring me the TV, I would take your place at the Living Stones. <laughs> Hey, where is it? I know he had a costume in here. Yeah, good move. Mitch will get his paws on Wash's costume, and it's thanks to us. Uh -huh. Is that right? See you later, loser. Wash and the girls still haven't come home. What? Oh no, don't tell me that. I'm gonna start to stress. <laughs> All is lost. Mitch is going to take over my place at the Living Stones, and I'm going to spend all eternity here in this dark cave, alone and abandoned by all. Thinking of your super girlfriend who would have loved to help you, but who you treated like dirt? Susie? Eugenie? You wouldn't by any chance have an idea for getting me out of here. Oh, no. We're too young, remember? We can have ideas. Of course you can. And besides, that's not what I meant. It was just a figure of speech. <laughs> you know, kind of like when you say, um... Like when you say what? Uh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> Thanks, girls. So, shall we get my costume? Don't worry about it. I hid it so that Mitch will never find it. Must I remind you girls that I'm a fox after all? Clever is my middle name. Mitch's middle name, because he found your costume and he's already gone to the Living Stones with it. What? If the Living Stones think that Mitch is their dog, all is lost and I shall spend the rest of eternity in the forest, alone, in the rain, the wind, the... Oh, all right, let's go. Sam, go get me something to eat while I hug my little Vicky and watch my TV! No, oh, no, I was so stressed out that I ate everything! Here you are! Ah! You better find me something else while I finish this and make it snappy! Sam! Find him something to eat immediately! But there's nothing left! Somebody ate everything in the house! And in your costume? I know for a fact you always hide a chicken in your costume in case you get hungry. Yeah? No, no way, I swear! Uh, um, I'll go look in the oven! They didn't find anything! What? <laughs> well, if that's how it is, I'm gonna eat your friend's costume and take yours! And then I'll be the Living Stones' new cat! It's only when you 
have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. The day you will have vanquished your fear is the day that Mitch shall no longer be a danger to you. Then if you ever try blackmailing us again, it'll be me who comes to see you in the forest. Fearless Tim! Sam the Cat! I'm sorry, so sorry, honestly. I'll never bother you again. How did you do that? Wow, you were like a, like a lion in there. You know, I'm a cat, and cats are afraid of only one thing, and that's, that's the forest. No, water, Sam. Cats are only afraid of water. But thanks, anyway. Ah! <sighs> Honey, I just dreamt that Sam was actually a bear disguised as a cat. Oysters always bring on strange nightmares when you eat them for breakfast. <laughs> You're right. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Thanks, Washington. Well done. Good dog. Here you go, a little reward. Bring me up my newspaper, will you? You'll find me in my bedroom. You dogs are so pathetic. All those disgusting chores to chew on some old shoe. No way. It's delicious. And what's more, it's great for the teeth. <gasps> Good little doggy, who does everything Daddy tells him to. Got a problem, Vic? You're not jealous by any chance. Are you joking? See us cats, Wash? We don't have to go bootlicking humans for love and appreciation. All we have to do is be ourselves. Beautiful, agile, gracious. Everything a dog is not. <sighs> Baloney! Dogs are a match for cats in every department. Yeah? So if that's true, can you, for example, explain to me why dogs can't climb trees, whereas cats can? Oh, yes, we can. It's just we have better things to do. I'll go climbing trees whenever you want, Bic. Yeah? Really? The first to grab the ribbon is the winner. But warning, if you fall, then... Elimination. Basically, if Wash falls, he loses. Looks like I've got time for a little cat nap. <sighs> Poor little Washington. Need a helping tail? Go on, grab hold. You're breaking my little heart. Hang on tight. Washington! 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 <laughs> Looks like you've lost, Vic. Speaking as a cat, I will say that I am very disappointed with your performance, Victoria. But speaking as Wash's best friend, I am pleased with the result. Way to go, Wash. You won, boy. So, Vic, ready to pay the price for defeat? Don't even think of it. Oh, look at Daddy's cute little dog. <laughs> ha, ha, okay, had enough? Are you through? Are you happy now? Can I take this off? <gasps> you are pretty pie. Not coming to say hi? What's he doing lying on Victoria's armchair? Come on, Wash, get up. Come say hi. Washington? Washington? Uh, what? How weird. See that, honey? Wash doesn't look like himself today. It looks like his head has gone flat. No, he 
he's lost weight. Look, his skin is hanging off his bones. Okay, honey pie, double ration of kibble for you today. <laughs> Dog kibble, it's disgusting. Washington, you gotta eat. Go on. <laughs> Go on, little doggy, eat him up. <laughs> Yet. Wash got himself a double ration of kibble and we didn't. It isn't funny. But it isn't Wash. It's Big wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Okay, time for some exercise, Washington. That'll soon perk you up. It's weird. It's like Wash's costume has grown too big for him. It's because it isn't Wash, Sam. It's Big wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Oh, yeah! Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Uh, hang on. Wash wearing... No. Who's it again? Go on, Washington. Catch! <laughs> Your reflexes are rusty, Washington. You're beginning to worry me. Luckily, I have a nice, juicy, vitamin-enriched bone for you. You should see her, Wash. Vic is hopeless at playing the dog. Uh, what? It has to stop right this minute. I've spent two years training to create the perfect dog act, and Victoria's ruining it all in one afternoon. If she carries on like that, the living stones are gonna kick me out. Uh, you or Vic? Uh, me. I mean, Vic, and then me. If they throw Vic out wearing my dog costume, even if I do get it back, the Living Stones will never let me in the house again, Sam. <laughs> Vic, give me my costume back. Like I wanted to keep it. You could have watched out. You nearly ruined all my efforts at passing as the perfect pooch. Let it be a lesson to you. I didn't ask to wear your crummy costume. Hey, and another thing. Are you ready to fess up that cats are better than dogs? <laughs> Not on your life, Vic. Okay, if that's the way it is, I'm keeping it. And don't expect me to play the perfect pooch. I am hopeless at dog stuff. The worst around. Wash, <laughs> Washington! My slippers! <laughs> Washington! My slippers! Wash, what has that meant to you? Washington, please! Sam, go tell Vic right this minute that I admit cats are better than dogs. And make her give me my costume back, please. Wash, you bad dog. Don't ever do that again. Otherwise, you're in for trouble. No, give me that, Washington. You've been a bad dog. You don't have a right to your... Ru Washington, calm down! Stay there and don't move. It's punishment time for you, you naughty dog. Come on, girls. We're going to leave Washington on his own. He has to calm down. He's being punished. I mean, Vic, Wash told me to tell you that, uh, that cats, uh, no, the dogs are better than cats. What? Dogs are better than cats? If it's war Wash wants, he's going to get it. Ah, peace and tranquility. It looks like Washington has finally calmed down. <laughs> oh! Have you gone crazy? Who did that? Own up right this minute, or... What about my costume? Is she gonna give it back? Yeah, I don't know. They cut it off into the yard, and Mr. Livingstone said you're punished and you have to stay on your own in the kitchen. You gotta stop bugging Vic. She's really mad. There's gonna be trouble. Huh? What? What kind of trouble? Ah! Washington, please calm down! Ah! What did you say to Victoria to wind her up like that? Exactly what you told me to say. The dogs are better than cats. Huh? Uh, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> You naughty, naughty dog, Washington. Go to bed this instant. I shall decide what punishment you deserve. What's going on, honey? I don't know what's got into Washington. He's behaving dreadfully. Uh-oh. We better get your costume back and back. I have an idea. Try to tell the Living Stones that Victoria has disappeared. That way, she'll be forced to show herself without my costume and we'll be able to... Yeah. Meow. 
Oh, Victoria, you are so sweet. Not like bad, bad Washington. Imagine if Wash attacked Vic or one of our other lovable sweetie pies. He's already attacked a postman. What if the next time he bites? I hate to say this, but for the safety of all of us, we must call the animal pound, honey. It's our duty. No, this is the end. Wait. Washington is sick. Maybe that's why he's behaving like this. You're right, honey. I'll call the vet this instant. You have called Vladimir Venovic's veterinary clinic. I'm obviously really busy right now. So don't call back until you've forgotten your problem. Let's go for a little walk to clear our minds, honey. We'll give him a call when we get back. Vic, where did you put my costume? So tell me, are cats? Yes, cats are better than dogs. But for Pete's sake, give me back my costume. If I don't get to play the perfect pooch when I get home, I'm done for. Seeing as you're such a good little doggy, you should be able to find your costume all on your lonesome. With your legendary sense of smell. No! No, 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 no! Why don't you use your nose like Vic said? Because I'm not a real dog, you genie. You smell him! <laughs> they stink of cheesy feet. You can't smell anything else? Sure. In the background, there's something that smells good, a kind of perfume. That's Vic's aroma. She left her scent on the slippers when she ripped them apart. All you have to do is track down her odor. Visit everywhere she went, and eventually you're sure to find wherever she hid your costume. How do you know all that? You've never been a dog before. No, but in the forest, guys always kept stealing my acorns. So I had to learn to use my snout to find them. I found it. Vic hid my costume in the kibble. I can smell it. Where is it? Don't panic, it happens. It's what you call a false leap. Keep looking, there must be another trail. Going around in circles, are we? You cheat! As mock dogs go, I confess. I'm impressed with you. How about we make peace? How about we say a fox in dog disguise is equal to a cat? Like that idea? Look, honey, it looks like Wash is feeling better. Maybe we don't need to call the vet after all. Of course. It must be those vitamin-enriched bones that made him crazy like that. He must be allergic to them. I'll throw them away. It's silly, I know, but I think I finally developed a taste for them. <sighs> what? Only fools never change their minds, no? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Let the pro show you how it's done. <laughs> Whoa! 37.8! No way! My turn, my turn! Move it, Rush! <laughs> so, so, what's my score? Sam, how do you expect us to know? You broke the scale! Yeah, that's too easy. As soon as I'm about to win, you always come up with an excuse that I lose. You were already doing that back in the forest. Lunch is ready. <laughs> Your kibble tastes super weird today, doesn't it? Are you kidding? It's awesome as usual. So, little Sammy, you don't like your brand new kibble extra light? Yeah. With our new kibble extra and five vegetables and sawdust fiber, you'll be a skinny cat in just weeks. Nick, what do you say we trade kibble, huh? Between us cats. Um, no. Okay, well then if that's how it's going to be, I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Wash, Vic, the Livingstones. Nobody understands me. Luckily.
luckily you're here. You know, if I stay here, it's only because of you. In ancient Egypt, cats were the preferred pets of the pharaohs. Considered to be gods, cats were so adored and revered that they were protected mm -hmm. by all Egyptians. And they lived in temples that were built in honor of Bestet, the Egyptian cat goddess of love. Bestet? The Egyptian cat goddess? Why don't we suggest playing tag with him? He loves that. I'm sure it'll lift his spirits. Sam! Sam! Oh, come on! Some people are asleep around here. Besides, your friend has gone outside. Sam! 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 What in the world are you doing? I'm leaving for Egypt. At least there, everybody will revere me. What does revere mean? That means that everyone will love me, and I'll be able to eat whatever I want, and not just a little bowl of extra light kibble. Sounds awesome. Is Egypt far? No idea, but it's worth a trip. In Egypt, everybody pampers cats. That's because my ancestor was a cat goddess. Pretty classy, huh? But Sam! You're not even a real cat. <laughs> Is he leaving for good? Of course not. He's leading us on. He's just doing it so we'll give him our kibble, because he doesn't like his new extra light kibble. <laughs> I give him 10 seconds before he changes his mind and comes home. <laughs> Farewell. And kiss my darling Timmy goodbye for me. <laughs> Gosh, are you really sure that Sam is taking us for a ride? Sam, stop! It's true we haven't been very nice to you, but if you stay, you won't regret it. I promise we'll take great care of you. As much as they do in Egypt? Way more! Okay, I'll stay a little bit longer, just to see. <laughs> really? For me? Of course! Me kibble as two kibble, amigo. <laughs> And what would you say to playing your all-time favorite game, Sam? Tag, Sam! Okay, but under one condition, we play Egyptian tag. Sam, if we play tag, we... Okay! All right, the rules are simple. I met you, see, but you guys have to be super duper nice to me. And if you manage that, I'll stay. Otherwise, I go to Egypt. Understand? Mmm, delicious. Hey, uh, come on, can we play some other game now? Wash, we just started. Come on, try a little harder. You promised to make Sam happy. No, how about taking me for a little ride to help me digest all this food? He was the greatest of cats who filled us with joy and glee. His ancestors, the Egyptians, considered him the height of feline beauty. The sacred cat he was, he left even the dogs in Left even the dogs and all. Are you serious? Yep, that's right, Alvarez. I saw it on TV. My ancestor was a goddess. A goddess? And what was her name? <laughs> it was the goddess Samses. And this is her descendant, Samses the second. Glory be to Samses the second, goddess of the heavens. Wash? Samzies the second wants to continue his royal stroll. Yeah, well, his majesty still has some paws. How about he gets some exercise? Oh, so I see. That's how you think cats are treated in Egypt, Wash? I can't take any more of this. If you want to leave, just go ahead. It'll give me a vacation. Huh? You don't seriously think I would abandon my people because you're in a bad mood, do you? <laughs> I'm staying, Wash. Yeah! You decided to stop playing the clown for your buddy? What's his name again? Samzies 2. Numerous cats have been mummified in the pyramids. These mummies were meant to accompany the dead pharaohs during their final voyage. <laughs> Can you just imagine our Samzies 2 in a pyramid amongst all those mummies? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, oh great Samzies 2? <laughs> 
It's a bit small. Should be way bigger, like in Egypt. Yeah, but we're not in Egypt, and you're not a cat, but a wild boar, so this'll have to do. Me? A wild boar? Samsie's chew is in no way related to a disgusting creature. <laughs> I told him. Seriously, who does he think he is? Don't worry, Eugenie. We're gonna remind Sam who he really is. Do you know what mummies are, girls? <laughs> are you ready, girls? Yeah! yeah! Oops. snoring. Enough already. Oh. <laughs> Eugenie, Susie, get rid of that horrible mosquito. He's disturbing my precious sleep, will you? Me? A horrible mosquito? Samsies too. We are mummies sent by your ancestors, and we have been ordered to bring you back to the pyramids. Uh, thanks for the invite. I'm really tempted, you know, but uh, actually, I think I prefer staying here with my people. Yeah, well, no. Your ancestors are waiting for you in Egypt, so you gotta go now. Yeah? Are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just give me 30 seconds, okay? I gotta go get some kibble for the trip, and uh, be right back. Ah! Ah! Honey, did you hear all that ruckus? Honey, there's somebody in the living room. No, there isn't. It's just the animals having a little party. You really think so? They usually sleep like logs. And what if it was the same intruder who broke our bathroom scale? Here. Here. Have mercy, please! This is all a big mistake! I'm just a friend of the mill wild boar, not a sacred cat. Look! Ah. Ah. Honey, there's a wild boar and three mummies in the living room. Do you think that's who broke our bathroom scale? Of course not. You just had a nightmare, that's all. You think so? Sam, put your costume back on right this second or we'll be sent back to the forest. I don't care. I'd rather go back to the forest than find myself stuck inside a pyramid with you guys. Sorry, you'll never get me. Are you okay, Sam? Eugenie, Susie, you managed to get rid of the money? Sam, quick, put this on. You see, honey, I was right. They were just having fun with the toilet paper, that's all. Come on, guys. You can sleep in our room tonight. That way, there'll be no more fooling around. Yay! And I think that in Egypt, I would have had sausages for breakfast. Yeah, but you'd be with a bunch of mummies deep inside a pyramid and not here with us at the Living Stones. You're right. Things aren't that bad here after all. But... Extra light kibble! I can't believe it! The Living Stones made a mistake! Do you really think so? Sam? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. There we go. 
Flea treatment complete. You've all been very good. Well done. But where on earth is Victoria? That's weird. She was here two minutes ago. Seeing how she hates that flea product, she must be long gone. It's like she has some sixth sense that tells her when to leave at treatment time. We're gonna have to find her. This year, the fleas are back with a vengeance. Hmm. Hey, Vic, there you are. Yeah, we've been looking everywhere for you. Stop it. Shut up, Sam! Keep your snout out of it! Oh, darling, look! Fix up there! Get down from there right this minute! Mission accomplished. No flea treatment for me this year. Hey, guys, look, a cat. You know what that means? Party, party, party! Interesting. What's up with Vic? Can't you see? She's dancing. Cool dance routine. <laughs> I reckon she's being bitten alive by fleas. There you go, Vic. You should have played the game and taken your treatment just like everybody else. You're a fine one to speak out. Your costumes protect you from the side effects of that ghastly stuff. Ouch! And they protect you from fleas. Stop! Well, well, there you are, Vic. Mm -hmm. This time you're going nowhere. I know it smells bad and it makes your head hurt, but at least the fleas are going to leave you alone. <laughs> Get the shelter! Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. Who's up for a game of forest ball? Yeah! yeah! Count me out this time. Go long, Sam! <laughs> are enjoying themselves as much on the other double fur animals. <laughs> we have a problem. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not scratch in front of them. Otherwise, zip. We'll be up in front of the vet in no time. What if the vet examines us and discovers we're wild animals? I don't want to go back to the forest. There we go. We're off for a weekend in the wild. Be good, little angels. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Oh, what did I do with my sunglasses? Oh, here they are. <laughs> All right, honey, I got the road map. And the torches. Stop, stop, silly of me. Uh, what's happened to them? Do you reckon they have fleas? Hmm, but the treatment works perfectly. Victoria's fine. I'll call up the vet anyway. I'll make an appointment for tomorrow morning when we get back. What a nightmare! <laughs> we cannot let that vet examine us. We have to come up with some solution to get rid of these fleas. No, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> 
But we're gonna find out. <laughs> what an awesome party! Yeah, whoever organized this is a genius. Yes. Does it work? Right. We're gonna have to find some other idea. <laughs> Well, what a cute little dance routine you got there. This is not the time, Vic. If we don't ditch these fleas before the living stones get back, we're done for. Yeah, but Vic, what can we do to get rid of them? <laughs> to do that, you'll have to find them a better place to live. Like a mansion with a mud jacuzzi? No, another animal. But don't worry, there must be hundreds of untreated pets around here. Hey, Vic, you're a genius. <sighs> but why do I have to do this first? That's the way it is. We drew lots. Trust me on this. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> hmm? What's up, Sam? Lost your way to your comfy Sophie? Hey, thing. Hey, I was looking for you with my buddies. We just wanted to say that... That what? That you're an awesome neighbor, we all wanted to give you a big hug to say thanks. Uh? <laughs> Ew, what's that smell? Wait, I'll go see. I don't know what it is. It looks like a trash can with fur. Nothing compared to our double fur penthouse suite here. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I mean, what have those guys been putting in your food lately? To think I'm the one everyone calls wild around here. They're really clinging on. I don't think we have many options left. Who needs the vet? We get our hands on the flea treatment and blam! A quick dose on our real fur and problem solved. You ready? Careful, Sam. I don't believe it. What kind of vet is this guy? There's everything but meds here. Weight, 59 pounds or 13 ounces. Oh, no, Sam! 59 pounds and 13 ounces? That's impossible, Wash. The guy inside that thing is lying. Uh, the animals! Shh, calm down. Did you hear that? Sounds like there are thousands of animals out there. Oh, it's nice warm fur. We're right, and it sure smells good. Maybe it's time to throw the party of the century. Yay! Moving on. Thanks. You can sleep easy now. Come on, let's go look for our treatment. You know as you heard it, right? <laughs> It's the vet! Quick, let's get out of here! What about the flea treatment? I'd much rather live in a cold forest with fleas than get caught hanging around here. Let's go! Oh, what are the... Do something! Look at them, Vladimir! I shall never forget you, you little marvel of technology, you. What are you doing? Farewell, Sofa! Farewell, TV! Farewell, lovely home. Thank you for all the good times you had. We're home. We came as quickly as we could. Oh, poor little honeys. Looks like they're at their wits' end. The vet will be here any minute. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone, good day. So, where are the patients? I can't take it anymore. It has to stop. This torture has to end. What torture? You stopped scratching. Yeah, you're right. But that means the fleas must have gone. At last, someone with a brain cell. But how come I didn't notice? I have good news and bad news. 
The bad news is my clinic suffered a flea invasion last night, and I don't have the usual product in stock. Yeah. But the good news is, we get to try out a totally new treatment that's even more powerful. <laughs> uh, right. The only complicated thing about this product is that it has to be swallowed. Awesome! It's breakfast time! I say, your animals sure are cooperative. Hang on. Where's the other cat? <laughs> Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. It's a good thing we got away with it this time. I hate swallowing tablets. Hey, I wonder what did happen to our fleas? Hey, it's you, Hadley. How's it going, buddy? Cool place here, huh? Huh? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Cat who plugs kibble on TV. Not only, I've heard he's broken into the movies now, too. What? Why did he do that? I'd never leave a job where I get to eat as much kibble as I want all day long. Which reminds me, I'm hungry. I never go anywhere without Kitty Munch kibble. Woohoo! Meow! Meow! Want your Kitty Munch kibble, Sam? <laughs> Enroll your cat in the national audition to replace our Kitty Munch ambassador, Oscar, and you could win a year's supply of kibble. We could sign up Victoria. Meow, meow. You too, little Sammy. Want to sign up for the Kitty Munch audition? Mm -hmm. You really think he has any chance? Who knows? Looks like he likes the idea. An audition for Kitty Munch kibble? No way, not me. How vulgar. If only it was for Royal Kitty Pate. If you aren't interested in Kibble Vic, will you let me win? No. You have no chance, Sam. You are not a real cat. Everyone will see that. Don't listen to her, Sam. You can do it. You've been doing your cat act 24-7 ever since we got here. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. And I'm going to help you. We're going to turn you into advertising's first ever boar cat. Okay? <laughs> Doing here. We're coming with you. We want to get Oscar's autograph. We brought a photo. You uh. this is an ad for kibbles. It's a job for cats, not goats. Meow, meow. Victoria and Sam. Leave them with me. Good, Good luck, luck, honey, honey buns. buns. See, See you later. later. Come along, you two. <laughs> yeah, you see that? Don't worry, Sam. You're the best. <laughs> Are you joking? Nobody is as good as me, whether they're the real deal or phony. Now, is everybody here? Can we stop the improvisations, please? First up, Melody. She's a knockout! No, no, no! Too wishy-washy. Next! <laughs> Not bad. He stays. Not bad. I can never do as good Next. as him. Ah, let's get this over with. Wow! She stays for 
sure. Next! <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want to go. I'll never make it. Of course you will. Sam, let your inner cat shine and think of all the kibble waiting for you when you win. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's incredible! Hilarious! We'll take him with Hans and Vic. The rest of you, on your way! <laughs> I know that Oscar's around here somewhere. I can feel it! I'll go take a look through there! <laughs> but the window's open! Let me go! Wait, Susie, stop! Taste test! Take it away! Eat your kibble! <laughs> I love the fat funny cat! He's our guy! Take five, everybody! Then we roll! Here's the funny cat that won! Where is he? It's you, Sam! You won! Me? But I'm not fat! But I know I sure am funny! <laughs> audition is a joke. At least I won't have to waste any more of my precious time. I don't believe it. They can't possibly prefer that bumpkin. He may be a bumpkin, but at least he's not a second-rate ham. You okay, Sam? You need a little uh, refreshment? Well done. Great job. So, who are you then? His coach. I train him. I look after him. But who's ever heard of a dog looking after a cat? Oh, I see you're new to the business. Hang around and you'll get to see a lot of it. Dogs taking care of cats. Here's the living proof. All right, I'll go fetch you something to drink. And if he starts asking questions, whatever you do, don't say a word. <laughs> so you've been acting for a while then. I have rarely met an actor as talented as you. <laughs> Look, Susie, there he is! Oscar! 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 Can I please just take one little second of your precious time? Mr. Oscar? <gasps> Look, Eugenie! Sam? Of course I have. In my dreams. He was riding this giant hot dog bareback. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> we went playing around next door with Hans. He pushed me into a big vat of bubble gum. That guy's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is that? <laughs> Go scrub up that fat feline right this minute. We have no time to lose. No way! If they start washing you, they'll find your zipper and blow our cover. Come on, Sam! Quick! Okay, I knew cats didn't like water, but I didn't think they hated it that much. Go, security! Get him back here as fast as you can! Otherwise, we'll have to do with that guy. Hmm. Security! We just lost our new kibble star! Can you do something? Okay! We'll, we'll take, take care of it! I told you that you and your pumpkin buddies would never make the grade! Oh, yeah? You sure? Because I don't know if you knew it, but the shoot's been postponed! <laughs> <laughs> What in the... Oh, no! Okay, well, we gotta switch camera. Take five, guys. Quick, take off your costume. <laughs> you supply a kibble up in smoke, and I was the winner. It's not fair. Where did they get to? There you go, clean as a whisker. Now we just have to get it dry. Go on, Sam. Another squeeze and we're done. Sam, wash? Hurry along. If Sam gets back quickly, the roll is still his. A uh, boy? I knew you were just a silly bumpkin. Your days in advertising are over, sunshine. What's going, going down? down? It's coming from there. <laughs> there, a boy with a doll. Hey, stop! Still no 
sign of the funny cat? No, security's tied up. They say they're chasing down a wild boar. Shame. Too bad we'll have to care with the other guy. Look, it's him. It must be. It's him. Mr. Oscar, can I please just take one little second of your precious time? <gasps> he smiled at me. <laughs> Will you please sign an autograph for us? Of course. With pleasure. My fans mean everything to me. Shoot, I've got nothing to sign with. Follow me. We'll soon change that. <laughs> Solution. Don't worry, nobody will find us here. Sam? What? What are you doing here? Why are you taking your costume <laughs> off, Sam? <laughs> you have nothing to fear. <laughs> <laughs> when I started out as an actor, nobody wanted to hire me. Who'd want to work with a badger, I ask you? So to become a star, I decided to disguise myself as a cat. But shh, mum's the word. Security! Anyone in there? Wasn't that, that the dog, dog who was hanging, hanging out, out with, with the boar? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Mm -hmm. There you go, girls. Oh, thank you, Oscar. <laughs> and cut! That's our boy! Awesome! A million times better than that z -list celebrity. Uh, I'll get you back for this! Can someone get rid of this one, please? Contact the space agency. I think they're looking for a cat to test out litter in space. Kitty Munch, the Campbell with Crunch. So, who's the big boar cat superstar in the room? <sighs> it's Oscar! <sighs> we have just learned that a cat has been sent into space to test a new form of clump and seal cat litter. <laughs> Good luck, little hands. Enjoy the trip, space cat. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I'm sure there's already a new one growing in its place. Mm -hmm. Hey, plant it in the yard. I heard an old oak tree will grow on top of it with tons of delicious acorns. Is there acorns that grow into acorn trees? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then if we plant a tooth, it will make a... Ah! A tooth tree! <laughs> so maybe we should avoid that scenario by tossing it in the garbage. Most certainly not, you bunch of fools. Baby teeth are worth a fortune. What? In the city, when you put a tooth under your pillow during the night, a tooth fairy comes and gets it and leaves a present in exchange. <laughs> Don't you remember Biscuit, the little mouse who lives with the living stones? Mm -hmm. Well, Biscuit works part-time as a tooth fairy. <sighs> That's all nonsense. Yeah. I lost a tooth two months ago, and Biscuit never came with the slightest gift. Ah, could be your tooth was too boring for him. Yours, Eugenie, is way more interesting. What's so special about my tooth? 
Well, for a rabbit, that's one huge tooth. And I can assure you, teeth like that are pretty rare here in the city. I'm sure you'll get an enormous present. Better tooth fairy. Here, sis. <laughs> Biscuit has made fun of us yet again. Well, why the long faces? You said that Eugenie would get a super present, and she got totally ripped off instead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh all you want, but we haven't said our last word. <laughs> what do you want? Just what is this lousy gift, huh? Eugenie left you a super tooth, and she deserves a super present. Give us back the tooth. We're gonna see another tooth fairy. A real one this time. Too late. A deal's a deal. Can't go back on it now. And for your info, I've been running Baby Teeth Incorporated, the company that handles all the teeth in the hood for years. And for years, a rabbit tooth is worth a clothespin. No more, no less. <coughs> and one more thing. You can thank your lucky stars. Since it was a big tooth, I gave you a big clothespin. <laughs> Did you hear that, Sam? Yeah, it's my stomach growling. I've only had four meals today. Give you five kilos of cheese and uh, a muscle. Twenty kilos of cheese and a muscle. Uh, ten kilos and no muscle. Fifteen. Twelve kilos and half a muscle. It's a deal. Right. I have to organize transportation now. I'll be okay. Wow. Twelve kilos of cheese and half a muscle. Eugenie got totally ripped off, and we've got the proof now. I'm gonna make a deal. What is it you want this time? <clears throat> Well, according to the latest news flash, it appears that Eugenie's tooth is exceptional and that it's going right on today's tooth market is about 12 kilos of cheese. It's half a muscle. So either we get it back or we get the cheese. Too late. <clears throat> That's how it's gonna be. We'll have to resort to more forceful methods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because we tried to eat Biscuit a couple of times. You know how those mice hold a garage. You see? You're really actually pretty lucky. You could have gotten nothing at all. Hmm. What's all that racket? I believe you have something that belongs to us. Like a tooth. <laughs> Come on, open your mouth. It's for your own good, you know. You mustn't suffer in silence, darlings. Uh, listen, honey. The easiest thing to do is to get an appointment with the vet tomorrow morning. They'll know whose tooth this is. Huh? <laughs> uh, 
Well, given the size of it, I think we can count out Susie, no? Indeed we can, honey. Birds don't have teeth. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> if the Livingstones take the tooth to the vet, he's going to tell them it's a wild boar's tooth, and then it's going to be a one-way ticket back to the forest for all of us. What if we steal the tooth during the night? Huh. They'll see it's missing tomorrow morning, and they might suspect it was us. Too risky. Oh, I know. What if we replace it with Nugget's cat tooth? Mmm, brilliant idea, Eugenie. Yeah, well, mm. good luck with that. Nugget and Fluffy's door is always locked at night. Susie, you could get it by flying through the window. So I could get swallowed whole by those two loonies? No, thank you. But I do know how you could get in, Wash. I just found a super video explaining how to use a clothespin. Susie, get in position. Sir, yes, sir. Everyone ready? <laughs> Operation Clothespin will begin in five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> Sam, are your muscles made of silly putty or what? Pull a bit harder this time, okay? Zero. <laughs> Whoop! Zero. Zero. I said a bit harder, Sam, not super hard. If all you're going to do is yell at me, I'm going to stop counting. But, but what in the world was that? Washington? Hmm? What are you doing here? Get out of here on the double unless you want to wind up in the dog pound. Yeah, uh, uh, I come as a friend. Uh, actually, I come as a little mouse. Uh, a fairy mouse. Biscuit sent me. Huh? A dog fairy mouse? Y yeah, that's it. And uh, since Biscuit doesn't have time to come pick up Nugget's tooth, he asked me to undertake this super important mission for him. But then that means I'm going to get a present in exchange. <laughs> What's the present gonna be, huh, Wash? Your present? Oh, yeah, uh, well, uh... <laughs> so, who's king of the deal? Whoa! How'd you do it? They seem so angry. Oh, you know, the usual. Art of the deal. Nugget had no choice but to hand over the tooth. Oh, yeah? With nothing in exchange? <laughs> uh, uh, no, 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 of course not. Oh, yeah, two kisses. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, come on, we got work to do. Nobody's home. Oh, yeah? Even if I tell you I've got that exceptional tooth and that I'm willing to make a deal? I thought the Livingstones went off to the vet with the tooth. Quite right. Except that, as we speak, the vet is examining an itsy-bitsy cat tooth. No doubt about it. This is a shark's tooth. Which means that the tooth belongs to none of our darling furballs. Now that's great news. Interesting. Uh, in exchange for the tooth, I'll give you two huge clothespins. Uh-uh. We want eight kilos of cheese and a whole muscle. Huh? You're crazy. Three kilos of cheese and no muscle. Six kilos and a muscle. Do you think Wash will be back soon? I'm starting to get kind of hungry. So? Let's hear it for the king of the deal. Check it out. What? That's all? Huh? Hey, it's better than a clothespin, no? You can say that again, Wash. Who wants some? 